Hi guys, Auntie Dana here and I'm making Jamaican pumpkin soup and guess what? I just went to the Spanish supermarket and I got me eggs, yam, chicken foot, chicken thighs, chicken wings, chicken breasts, um, chi wings again, okra, chocho, pumpkin, Yes, this looks like Jamaica pumpkin, onions, sweet potato. I got me a lot. Of course, me I gonna buy my Milo. I got me the coconut milk that I wanted. My little Milo peas, um, peppers, onions, garlic. Yes, the small nice garlic. Them I got them. Sweet potato, and I'm making some. Chicken and beef soup. Oh, so one more bag here. And this one is a, this is a beef here. Soup beef. And I bought me extra chickens in the bag. Yes, yeah, so watch me cook. First, chicken foot soup here in America. All right? Watch and see if you will learn something. Probably I can learn something from you guys. But I'm going to do my first soup right here in my kitchen. All right? So, I have the beef. I'm just going to put some vinegar. And we'll wash this in a lime. And vinegar for the soup beef. All right? It's tough. Yes. When I get it, yes. And it's now in the water. And I'm going to clean it up and season it up. Wash the meat. And now I'm going to go in with a little Maggie All Purpose. And a little Maggie Chicken. Some Maggie Chicken. I remember to have a pressure this. So just a season it up. And I'm going to make it for a marinade. Stay a little while. Alright. Yes. And this is the beef ready for going to pressure cook the pumpkin is looking so nice look at it rich this look like pumpkin when i get a jamaica and of course my buy this in the spanish store so but guess what guys i forgot to buy cock soup or chicken no soup what am i going to do now no soup mixture the beef i soak for the season over there yes i mean i cut up the pumpkin right right now as we speak so the pumpkin is similar to the one we get at Jamaica, but a little bit different. Um, so I send my daughter to buy cock soup or chicken noodle soup because I didn't go to Publix or the Caribbean store because um, it did it too far and the traffic where we were coming from. So we have cut up the pumpkin. And of course, they're pretty. I'm not I'm going to use all of it because it's quite a lot. But not, the, the skin, the Spanish pumpkin, this it look like, you know, got the skin well, well thick. That's the only difference between you know, one Jamaica pumpkin or Caribbean pumpkin. However, this grow over here. So, we get on the soup. All right, guys. I have the garlic, the pumpkin, and the pimento ready to go in this pot right here. Yes. And this. I'm going to put the beef in it. And let the beef pressure out. Yes. So the beef, I got pressure out with the pumpkin and all the good stuff. All right. So we're making Jamaican soup today. All righty. So we're gonna put in the sweet potato, the chocho, the yam. The Irish, the Irish, yes. I'm gonna wash them, peel them, and cut them up. Alright, yes. Just want to find them. I don't know what kind of yam this. Where the yam here come from, Irish country, but it looks like the soft. White yam and of course we put it up so we use so and soup can cook without the okra. I don't know how I forgot to buy it. You see how much it is? Two dollars. 
71. I don't know how I forget to buy um, the chicken noodle. And over here, so it's the chicken foot. Is there any planka? Yes. Chicken foot, $6.67. Yes, I may have cut that with toes them with the scissors. Can okay, cut them off very, very fast. So the soup is on its way to getting ready. Pressure cooker going over there so. And Auntie Dana clean off the chicken foot them and they are very nice, you know. Look on them. Look how the chicken foot them pretty. Fresh and nice and them full of meat. And of course my daughter said, Mommy. Please to put some chicken in it. Got chicken for a beer bone. But let like them never remember chicken for Got them to buy it up here. But we Jamaican know about chicken food. And we are going to cook with the chicken food. Got them not really cook soup on them something. They them come Americanized. So at the first year, long, 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 long while, they are going to get the chicken foot. And of course, we have to put some um, chicken thighs in it. So watch what I'm going right here. So I'm going to get some chicken thighs, yes. At the shop also, Spanish supermarket, and we go clean them up, take off the fat, and see the chicken to put them over there. So, well, to cut off nice, and we go clean them up and clean up the chicken right back, and we gonna see what I go on with the soap pot. And of course, pressure cooker over here and the pressure. Pressure cooker, she over here, so I go on with herself. And pressure, 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 so that I mean the chick, the pumpkin, and the beef. And she did right there. This is the chicken thigh. So I'm going to take off all of the back skin them and so. So I'm going to wash off them you know. Into vinegar and lemon and season them up. You know Jamaica people love have more than one meat. You know the soup pot alright. And the food them in the water right there so. So I'm going to put this one this. The, the excess um, fat them. So we're going to clean up the chicken foot now. And the chicken for the season it up to make it go and soak a little bit to give the soap like an extra flavor. So we start with vinegar and lemon. We're going to clean them up properly. Lemon the chicken put them nice and fresh. And we're going to season up this with little all purpose chicken season and just make it set and for ready for going to the soup pot. I like when I am cooking soup, I like to burst the chicken foot them in the giant here so. So when it going to the pot, it just mash off and nice. You don't have to do that, but Auntie Dana likes to do that. All right, so I, I'm gonna just burst them and then show them when I season them. And I'm just now gonna add a little bit of this. Maggie all purpose. And a little Maggie chicken. Onto the meat, onto the chicken foot, and season it up. See here? Mm -hmm. So, when we put on that pan the fire now, this will well marinate and give the soup flavor. So, we have to feel food and soft, right? So, when we did a grow up with my grandmother and my mother as a little girl, we used to look forward to soup. Every Saturday, and at the same time, I never just chicken for soup, you know. I did, um, what is something young we go going near the river? Chris's, Chris's, um, one something was going near the river, we named Chris's, one something was going like cocoa, and you used to back the name so pick out the, 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 the uh, tight and boil soup, pepper pot soup. I mean, I tell you, them times my grandmother never have no leap of season, season like what I go on now. And, so, and it was only like, um, your little carrot, your pepper, your celery, and your garlic, your chocho, your cocoa, your dashim. Those were the things that my grandmother used to take to like, you know. And your potential, you used to put a little butter in it, and a little beet, a little garlic, and celery. I mean, I tell you, I mean, I see it back to soup like my grandmother. You know, I'm mother in the age, you know, we can cook. But not like them soup there. When you get them soup there, them soup there, they have gum. The soup. The soup, when you have the soup, the soup, full of gum. 
All the pack back from you get it. And you get it, and you get it, and it's thick. It's nice, it's not too thick. Nah, nothing. The soup was just good back in the day. The potato then nice though. And the, and the, what they call it when you're yellow? The red belly or the yellow? No, this one is the red belly. The yellow belly. What do you call it one year? What do you call the potato you have there? Anyway, I don't remember. But we, we use that one here. How much difference to them potato over here? Jamaica potato scale over here. Then you like. I don't know what color them have to like, so what them like. Yes, so back in the days now, when we have, when grandmother cook your food, do you remember me tell you? Be a ground provision. Now when you pass season, season, carne dumpling was the order of the day. A carne dumpling alone, you used to make soup with. You never know, no? No other dumpling, but corn dumpling, carne dumpling, and cassava dumpling in that soup. Everybody. Everybody get them big bowl. Oh, you see the white one. Yeah. So we have the two different types of potatoes. They light like, like a cart. So you know, they fry a fish in light, so. And you put them in the soup. They might go mash out quick. But for some reason, I'm going to come up with the soup. But see the chicken for soup. I'm going to go to Walmart and see the chicken put them in there fresh and nice. And I said, watch here. And today, I said, you don't want no vegetables. You're going to eat little um, chicken food soup. And my daughter said, yeah, mommy, do you? Think they want it. So what do you drink? And the man said, soup light. And I didn't like dumpling, but I tell him to eat it today. One said, I don't want no dumpling, just put enough ground provision in there. So we can get. Um, Enough liquid. That soup is nice without liquid, you never know. Soup is nice without the soup. So, see the yam, yeah? I don't know what kind of yam this. A white yam. And, um. This is like, what do you call it? Lucy yam. A Lucy yam, this guy. Is this Lucy? Well, if I lose it, I'm used to it, I'm used to it. It's going to be cooking today. And if the other yam in there, I'll never know which one. And it's so ironic that most of the things then, that's the other Jamaica here walk out the market. Or the supermarket. You know, see the vast amount of Caribbean things like what you see here. Like some of the ILO are one of them supermarkets. You have to walk on a street, yeah? Cassava, pumpkin, this, everything in the supermarket. I guess because them probably um, export them from different places. Why them can get everything in the supermarket? That's some of the things they went with all the supermarket in the supermarket. Anyway, the food ready. Call them pretty. Oh, yeah. So the two pot, I'm going to um, put a bigger pot to put the soup in the pan. I'm going to use a little bigger pot than the first pot cooker. It's just clean and nice. So I'm going to go for the flour. So I'm going to go for the flour and go and meal it and talk to me. All right, don't go down with it. I'm going to go to the shop and never remember to buy no more. Chicken noodles from the dance of gamba. So I get the noodles in. So we don't want a lot of dumplings. So we use four big spoons of flour. So we have a package of soup and put on the fridge, you know. See you next time. <laughs> so let's just take it out and warm it up. Basically, we don't have a drink of crumbs. So we don't get safe in the car meal then, then. Well, I'm going to have to look calm in here. I'm going to have to expect this thing on the car. I'm going to like porridge. So if you calm in there, you know. I'm going to have to go on. I'm going to have to go by the car in here, so. 
I'm going to use the five ones that mix the flour. So, I can't remember. What do you need to use? I'm going to use five ones that do nothing. I'm going to use back of water, the water out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to throw it out of the fridge. I'm going to So I'm going to make this and put it down to cool, all right? Look while Mr. May I make the dumpling cool. I mean, I make, I make the dumpling. So, so this is for the soup. Yeah, so we have everything set now. Now we find the... Now we find the... What do you call it? the noodle and the corn, but then I don't have to buy corn. Why are you there, Jamaica? And the cooking here run out and you can't call the shop. Bring this. Bring that. You have any so and so? Over here now, sir. The shop, the corn and shop, then the fall. Not corn and shop, supermarket. You have to drive up. Welcome to Farin, Dana. Welcome to Big Farin. Well, you know, when I watch the live, the mommy in the kitchen, I cook a lot of water. Auntie, every day I see her cook now. When you're in Jamaica, you never used to cook. No, because me have people who can cook for me. But, me have come from cooking only. So if me not cook now, it's not, um, if me start cook back now, it shouldn't be no problem. And I enjoy it keeps me occupied. I'm asleep. I relax. I kind of get used to it. For the past couple of days, I say, you know what? Get used to it, Donna. Get used to it. So, cook, make breakfast, sleep, go to the mall, go to the park. You know, it's not an outgoing, like an outgoing person. So, like, for a weekend, for a weekend or for a Sunday. I'm not really there for much Sunday, my daughter then said they want to like, yeah, we'll, we'll eat like on Friday night time or so then said they want to eat different food like Spanish food or Chinese, we got a Chinese, but different food. So we can just go out and hang and enjoy and come home. So I didn't cook on Friday night most people. I was sometimes, I don't want to do nothing look like for today. I never want to do no lunch, my daughter makes fruit salad and then she had a salad so. And chipotle or chipotle or what's some chippy. But I couldn't make want the video run out too much. I don't know my love chat. I'm on this side chat it now, I don't know. So let me just watch what I go on over here on the fire and come back to me. So in the meantime, I'm going to just clean up the things. So I'm going to cook them with all the side of the other girl. Well, I said, I'm going to make a little bit of one side. Get it good, and I put them in a hand bag. And somebody will have tea dogs with them all in this room. See, fresh always get them tea in the same room. But I'm sorry, you don't keep going to eat them something. And we don't have any goats, but we have to throw something in the garbage. Yeah. Yeah, that's just like a tea in this room. See, it's all over there. Put on the tea and skin there. I'm going to brush it out. Alright, so then I'm not going to move them for you. Then I'm going to go over there for the dumpling and the food. I'm going to brush it out back there. I'm going to put all these lines in there and I'll put it in and cook. The arm. Tie this up as you go. So you need something. 
and wash it out. Spray it on the sink and go again. And the water hot. I'm gonna steam wash the air. I'm gonna put it in the machine. I'm gonna steam it out. I'm gonna steam it out. I'm gonna put it in the machine. Alright, so full come again. Here's the beef. I push it a little while. So I'm gonna test it. The mother is gonna be wanting the pressure to come in. You must add it to the water. Oh, I'm going to give them the water. I'm going to give them the water. Where are you? I'm going to give them the water slap in the rubber. So you have to put it in the water. You can't open the cut so. Yeah. I'm going to notice the beef, the meat them over here. You know, you have no way to pretty color, but it can go on. Let me see the texture of the beef. You know, it cook off of the bone. Yeah. It cook off of the bone, so automatically make your arm. See there? Throw it in the pot now. You man, it's soft. So, this is the part. Next episode. <laughs> Next portion, all right? Or just wait. So, cartel say one done, man, him wife. They have out fish hockey. Yeah. Anyway, guys, the soup. I just put in the meat and the chicken foot so it'll boil up. Yes, all right? And over here, so not watch her. Love her going in at the phone there. Go back pink call me there. I cook and up. Look for cartel. So guys, Auntie Dana, guess what? The soup, when I cook plankers, the little pot full up. So I end up now, have to separate everything now. I have to separate them in a two pot. I don't know what will happen. I don't know how it will come out, but I put one over this and I put one over here. So I have to throw water. Too much food. I don't know what will happen to my hand. So the first time I cook soup, the soup, too much food going there. I don't know what happened to my hand. I should have looked one little bit of something. I use two potatoes. I use <laughs> um, two or I use yam. Everything should I do in a moderation. I'm saying that little small part. So I'm here now with two pot of soup instead of one. Guess what? We're gonna freeze it. So you occur them nice, you see. Wash them off and just slice them up. This I go share for the two, but my daughter go buy them. What is up name? The noodle and comba. Alright, so we are cut up this. I'm going to take a boil out in there. And then I'm going to go over this so far. See there? Carrot and all these things. Let me show you what I'm going over here. Yes, so the soup is boil up. And guess what? The things that I'm going to mash tonight. So, over here, so I'm going to separate them here for the two. The so one pepper and another one here. One pepper and another this. And so I have to scoop them up now. And guess what? I never remember for buying a time. So I'm going to be using the. My only phone is going to can see where I'm going. I'm going to be using the, the dry thyme into this pot. What look nice already. Yes, yeah, so until then I come after I come spoil the pot as soon. Not necessarily spoil it. Come add too much food. Look who's so. Well, my daughter said can freeze. So I'm gonna just pop this and get the thyme and put some thyme in there and some seasons for this soup. But add the dried thyme in it. Actually, I ran from the pepper. The dried thyme leaf. 
Ja. Okay. I'm not like pretty. All the meat them are mash off. Yes. Two pot of soup are bubble up. That will have to put butter in our soup. So I'm put a little piece in of that and a little piece in of that one, right? Yeah. And then I let the soup smell nice. Look at the soup. Wow. And you feel like you could have taken a little bit more water. Then I did. Too nice pot of soup. I wish I did have people for share up this day. Look at soup. Well, I have boil no more soup here for now. So we we'll put it in the butter. And guess what? The good old grey stock soup. I got to throw one in at each of them. No. I now put no more season because I remember I did put season on the on the um the meat them. I wanna put no salt in this so look on it. Yes. Right here. So I'm gonna add in the cock soup to the soup. Look how the soup rich and nice. This is so nice. Wow. Yeah, two big pot of soup. Not really big pot, but two pot of soup. I'm going to add in the cock soup right now. One in at each. Right here. I'm turn it down. And the other one in at the next one. Soup smells so good, guys. Oh my god. Yeah. And I put here on the counter. Wipe off the stool. dry time oh well yeah, so do that I will put it up on the camera climb up put back the butter I will stay away from the leaf of salt because the noodle have been sad you man this will be a festive Another five minutes, mm -mm. and guess what? It's sweet, like the, the, the um, like the sweet potato has sugar in it. Oh my god, this is so good! I'm gonna go real up close and personal, Auntie Dana. Yeah, chicken soup. Yeah, see there, rich chicken soup with chicken. Chicken for soup with chicken and soup beef. Can you name it? Everything Jamaican in it. It looks so nice. It smells nice upon it. I look one good soup. I look one Auntie Dana soup. Alright, the next part over here. And the two of them look the same way. The two of them reach the same way. Mm -hmm. So, this is how I make my soup. I guess I'm gonna need to put no more powder season. The node loving everything. Everything cup I set it. I may give it five more minutes. I may go show you when it when I dish it out. Yes. Look on the soup. Oh my god, the soup looks so nice. Mm -hmm. So the soup is ready guys. Yes. Auntie Dana soup is ready. All right. Oh my God, this looks so good. This smells so good. So we just a scoop up some and put it on the plate. 
Peace I yum. Yes. Oh my god. Chicken foot the beef them. Chicken, look at it. OMG. Chicken a la masha for the bone. See there? So I forgot to pause this and take out the soup because I can't take it out with the phone in my hand. And there it is. My soup is ready to eat. And look, you know, say it only look enough because the pot them small, not really big. And the bowls them not big at all. And look what leave in the pot. But it can put together and make up a lot. All right, so here you have it. Your favorite Auntie Donna cooks. Chicken foot soup with beef and chicken. Oh my God, a Jamaican style. Look at it. Guys, take a spoon and have some. Look at the thickness and at the richness, all right? Yes, plank a shop. Yes, cooks chicken soup. Bye.